yes, they have got the six or seven games in hand, depending on stipulations of teams around them. But you can only rely on that so much. You have to deliver, and it's going to be so important for them today. But with a with a Saints side as offensively minded and as potent as what we've seen recently, it's going to be a tall order out there today. Michael Clark, it looks like, to play that central position. And it's clipped forward towards Sean Jeffers. And the expectancy around Clarence Park rises immediately as he gets on the ball. Hutchinson can look to take on his man and gets down the wing really well. Can he cross it across? And it's a really big opportunity for Gio Rizzullo to get his foot across the front post. And he did manage to get it, but it just flicked up over the bar. Flipped in by Ryan Brett. And it's a good delivery, actually, towards the penalty area. And it, it was challenged by Tom Harrison, but it's played back in towards the middle and Harrison got his head to it again. But really good goalkeeping from Michael Johnson. He managed to hold it. Maybe third time lucky. Good delivery. And this, uh, this one by, I think it was a Truro head who actually won it and it was flicked on, but Francis Clark was the first to react. Berger sets it back for Rizzullo and now a chance for Francis Clark to break and there's space in front of him down this right-hand side. He's driving forward. He's got Zane Banton looking to get forward and it's deflected off of Ben Adelsbury and it will go out for St Alban City's first corner of the game and the fans behind the goal respond to it. Pretty fantastic bit of defensive work from Conor Riley Lowe and now Truro City can look to come the other way on the counter-attack but Hutchinson once again doing his defensive work and he just clipped Ryan Brett as he just took it away from Hutchinson in the centre circle and the referee says to him well you've broken up a counter-attack I, I kind of have to book you here and, and now Smith can get the ball just outside the centre circle finds Zane Banton slightly more advanced Berger plays it back in to Sean Jeffers back into Berger out to Rizzullo lovely football and Rizzullo what a cross and it absolutely flew across the six yard box and maybe even shaved the post as it went past it was a fantastic looking cross who's like that could be the key to unlocking that as Ben Smith steps up and wins the ball, but plays a loose pass into Berger, and it was well won by Harrison. And now Berger picks it up in the centre circle and can look to drive forward. He's got Hutchinson helping him on the right-hand side, decides not to use him and goes back in towards Hilt Wiltshire. Sorry. And now Ben Smith can play it into Berger, back into Ben Smith, who fizzes it out wide to Sam Brown, and now Sam Brown into Rizzullo, who plays it into Ben Smith. Berger looks to get into a little bit of space but was ignored by the Silver City number four and now Sam Brown can look to deliver plays into Rizzullo who his touch got away from him but it's fine because it found Jake Berger now Hutchinson is inside the penalty area and his shot is deflected into the hands of James Heyman but it was the the most well worked chance of the game and to look to play those diagonal passes and unlock teams. So it's something you'd think that either fullback would be ready for. But as we say that, it's a real chance for Truro. And it's a chance Sullivan was looking to get onto it at the back post. And some heroic defending from Kyron Wiltshire has stopped what looked like a certain goal. Just outside the opposition box, Rizzullo crosses it in. It's dangerous. It's just put across briefly there by Francis Clark, but the keeper is privy to it. James Heyman collects it and closed down. Truro doing a great job at closing down. So St Albans decide, you know what? The left-hand side looks tasty. Sam Brown then finding Dom Hutchinson. Quite a lot of space and now has the one-on-one -on -one with Connor Riley Lowe. Almost wins it. In fact, does win it. Great opportunity for Berger and it's blocked. Such a great opportunity there. A great piece of inspiration. Luckily covered by the Truro defence. Berger with another great chance and it will be a St Albans corner. Well, Hutchinson had the chance to take on his man. Immediately in, Berger straight away. Not for one moment waiting. And again, another great chance. Again, closed down, snapped out of the way. St Albans being lightning quick with the corners here. Again, Dom Hutchinson choosing to go short, almost caught out by Dan Sullivan in the opposition. Rizzullo on the edge of the box. Kyron Wiltshire, take a shot if you want. No one has done it all game. Gives it a go and it's blocked, unfortunately. And it is cleared out and that looked... Dom Hutchinson will waste no time at all. You can tell there's pressure going on in some departments, but perhaps that offensive pressure has just got to build a little bit more. Or will my words be eaten? As Jake Berger cuts it back wonderfully, defenders flinging their legs up in the air to try and intercept a cross. That was never going to happen. 1-2 between Rizzullo and Berger. Rizzullo with the shot, and it's comfortably saved. Again, another good opportunity for St Albans and another shot at goal. The confidence can slowly come up from this. So let's see what they can manufacture. Berger, one touch with Ben Smith. Does he win the 50-50? No, he does not. Goes back to Truro. Goes back to Andrew Neal. Then Tyler Harvey pings it up again now. Tyler Harvey finding the ball in. That's number 15 and it's in. And it was a venomous piece of play from Truro. They had loads of space to work in. 
And unfortunately, it will be Andrew Neal who scores for Truro. It's 1-0 to the away side as the ball rockets into the roof of the net. And St Albans, after all of the optimism, briefly for their offensive play, it has all come undone in an instant. 1-0 to Truro here at Clarence Park. He's clearly got something in the works. He's having a look over into the penalty area and whips in a really nice ball into a fantastic area and it's going to fall and his first touch after coming off of the bench and Adam Porter has doubled Truro City's lead. St Alban City shell-shocked Truro City in dreamland. 2-0 here at Clarence Park and the set piece was a dangerous one and the finish from the substitute was sumptuous. Look to find a pass into the middle for Jake Berger. Berger sets it out to Rizzullo who lays it out to Zane Banton. Now can he look to get the ball into the middle? He finds Rizzullo who looks to play it around the corner and Berger was being held there and he's looking towards the referee asking for a penalty. Zane Banton with his hands on his head toying with his, with his marker finds Berger who plays it into Jack James who is trying to get involved as quickly as possible. Banton teases one in and Francis Clark goes down. Nothing given by the ref again. A cheer from the fans behind and the referee's given a free kick to Truro City as they pressed and looked to make something of it and oh it's getting a little bit chippy out there Clarence Park about to be up in arms there's a scrap going on and you do not want to see that by any means Mitchell V's trying to break up the dispute can't see entirely who it's between on there on the right wing well, but I think it's absolutely smack it into the stratosphere and Clark heads it down for Jack James he can drive forward now Jack James looking to deliver and it's a good ball it's going to fall for Zane Banton who tries to take a touch and he's looked to chip it oh yeah. Zane Banton you naughty so-and-so what a goal that is he's just lofted it over the goalkeeper off the underside of the bar and that is absolutely genius from Zane Banton I half exasperated myself there. I thought he was going to shoot straight away and then he took that first touch to spot the chip gliding over into that left-hand side. Absolutely wonderful. It's getting desperate, but it's possible. Belief in the team, belief all around Clarence Park as well. Berger again orchestrating in the midfield, although he loses the ball. Brief, well, he does lose the ball now completely. Oh, but Sean Jeffers. It's a chance. Manson's got a hit. It's a chance. Oh, it's just wasted. But it's a good goalkeeping. It's going to be six minutes of added time here at Clarence Park. And that will give a boost to those St Alban City players and fans alike. Now, Francis Clark on the edge of the box, holding the ball up and finding Ben Smith. The ball played out to Jack James, who can look to deliver. Mitchell Vies back to Zane Benton. Oh, it's blocked well by the Truro City defence. But for a moment there... I saw Zane Banton putting it into the same corner that he put the chip. Anders forward into the Truro City half. Plays a left-footed pass out wide right to Francis Clark, whose delivery is into a dangerous area and it's flicked towards the back post. Sam Brown will come and collect it and he's going to play it back in and it's, oh, it's going to cause problems. But James Heyman has done, well, he's done absolutely brilliant to keep hold of that. They'll probably have maybe one more chance to throw out. The referee puts the whistle to his lips and St Albans City lose 2-1 to Truro City. Goals from Adam Porter and Andrew Neil put Truro 2-0 up before one of the goals of the season from Zane Banton.